My name is Robin Tuxer. I'm an assistant professor in the Civil Engineering Department, and that's in the College of Engineering, Forestry, and Natural Sciences. I teach CENE 253L, which is the Mechanics of Materials Laboratory. Uh, the course is required of all mechanical and civil engineering students, and the description of the course is that they're basically testing materials to failure and then writing a report about it. Okay. So the way that the blending format works for my course is that, um, well, in the before format, uh, we could only hold 20 students in, in a lab section. And as enrollment is skyrocketing, we just have to offer more and more sections to accommodate the students. Uh, so what ended up happening is that an instructor would be there all day for each lab section, testing some material to failure, giving the student the data, and then the next lab section doing it again. Okay, so it ends up being uh, really a drain on our facilities and also, you know, the time of the instructor. With the new format, the way that it works is that I now have all the students, all the sections in one big lecture hall uh, for one hour a week. And then for alternating weeks, they go off and work on the labs themselves. So for example, um, sections A and C will be in the lab that Wednesday for three hours doing the experiments where sections B and D will be in the lab the next Wednesday doing their experiments. And so the, they have much more time to work on their experiments. They have two weeks to work on them as opposed to just going to a section, getting some data, and then writing about it next week, doing it all over again. Now they have two weeks to work on one experiment. Um, so the, and they're also working now in groups of three or four, whereas opposed to in the past, they were doing it by themselves. Um, so what that means is that they have much more time to create much better product, which is a lab report in this case. Uh, they have two weeks now to write a lab report and they have three to four people writing it. And so I tell them that I expect about 20 to 30 person hours of work into the lab report. Uh, whereas in the past, when they're just sitting in the section every week, you know, they would just have two to three hours per person to write a memo about whatever they saw for the next week and then they do it all over again. For example, I have one experiment where they, they get to put a strain gauge on a can of soda and then when they open the can they have to then back calculate based on the strain drop what the pressure in the can was. And so I feel like I'm tying in the content now more to sort of real life application and, and that's been a lot of fun for them. I generally get positive feedback. So what worked out differently than I anticipated would, uh, I have to go back to uh, the fact that I probably came in expecting the students to be more proactive about what they had to do. Uh, and I really caught them off guard in the beginning where they were missing deadlines left and right because they didn't realize that they had to go into BB Learn, into this module to find the assignment. So in the future, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all those deadlines in the syllabus ahead of time so they know exactly what they need to do when, and after that, it's just going to be up to them to find it. I am comfortable using technology for teaching and learning. Um, I would say that probably, you know, to get the production value out of it that I want, I'm not willing to put in the time or effort necessary to make that happen. Um, but for what's there, I try to use it to the best of my abilities. So the way that NAU or, or eLearning Center could, could better support faculty, uh, I think would be really working with them closely to, to get the production value into their, their learning modules. Uh, so, you know, a lot of the, the, the faculty, I think, would serve as a good sort of um, supervisor. You know, this is what I want it to look like sort of thing. Um, but I think that NAU or, or eLearning Center could provide the resources to sort of make the faculty's vision, you know, come to, come to fruition. Um, so I almost feel like I got away with, you know, like people think it's like I did something magical by blending this course, but really I always felt like, well, you're supposed to blend a lab, right? Um, you know, my motivation for it was to improve their learning. Um, you know, it wasn't to free up resources or save the university money or anything like that. I, strictly saw this as a great way by having the students do the experiments themselves, by having them working on themselves, they're now more engaged with the process 
and that's just going to make them better engineers as they go through the system. Thank you.